You're ready for the trip of a lifetime. But the thought of traveling solo does make you worry a little bit. So we've taken the guesswork out for you and highlighted some of the safest places for you to travel to, all by yourself. Reykjavik, Iceland. Reykjavik is a pretty big deal right now on the tourist scene, if not for its completely photoshopped looking attractions like the Blue Lagoon and the Northern Lights. It is also the epicenter of Icelandic culture and life. It is an eclectic city, full of beauty and teeming with well-run tourism day trips to all the main Icelandic sites. The added bonus is that Iceland ranks number one on the Global Peace Index. This is a report by the Institute for Economics and Peace that rates the world's regions in order of peacefulness. This doesn't just mean you won't get caught up in a national or international spat, but it is one of the safest places in the world to solo travel for any gender. Portugal Portugal has been having its time in the sun as a tourist destination. The country has been hashtagged over 23 million times and steadily rising. The colorful tiles, the white sandy beaches, turquoise water and amazing food all make it top of the to-do list for globetrotters. But its appeal doesn't only lie in its history, culture and beautiful landscapes. Portugal is also one of the safest places for solo travel. The country has a long track record with forward thinking in terms of women's rights and women's culture. It is a country grown up to respect women, making it a safe option for the trip of a lifetime. Finland whether you're chasing the northern lights in Lemonyaki National Park during the eternal days of winter or dipping into the vast number of lakes throughout the endless days of summer, you're safe in Finland. According to the World Economic Forum's Travel and Tourism Competitive Report, Finland is ranked number one in terms of safety. In Europe, it is the safest country to travel alone and one of the safest countries worldwide for women to travel alone. Kyoto Japan is geared up to get tourists around safely, and not only safely, but also affordably. Even the National Rail Service offers tourists a special rail pass called the Japan Rail Pass. This is a discounted ticket that gives tourists the freedom to get around safely and cheaply. There's added comfort for women, as all trains and subways have female-only cars available. Kyoto is one of Japan's safest cities, attracting a vast number of tourists at any given time. Locals are so used to the influx of foreigners, they are attuned to their guests. If you seem lost, it won't be long before a local will approach you and offer to help. The Japanese are keen to speak with foreign travelers and will gladly assist you in finding your feet. With such friendly and accepting natures, it is no wonder then that Japan is one of the safest countries for tourists in the world. Montreal, Canada If you're looking for all the old world charm of Europe without the jet lag, Head north to Montreal in Canada. This modern city has a rich culture and heritage evident in the 17th century buildings and cobblestone streets. There's a scenic riverfront old port and plenty of French dining. Add this to the already friendly Canadian culture and you've got one of the safest and most delightful cities to enjoy on your own. You won't be short of conversation as the chatty Canadians will engage with you in interest everywhere from the famous Montreal Botanical Gardens to the bustling bars and nightclubs. Botswana Botswana has never experienced a civil war and has won many accolades as one of the most peaceful nations in Africa. The Positive Peace Index has listed Botswana as the best governed country in Africa, making it the perfect destination for solo travel if you are looking for a soft landing on the African continent. Apart from peace, the country has a lot going for it. Botswana became independently wealthy after diamonds were discovered at the end of colonial rule, leaving Botswana to reap the benefits of her precious resources. Another asset is the protection of 30% of the country's land for the purpose of national parks. This has left Botswana with a unique and unrivaled tourism angle, as safety, partnered with safari, has a massive international appeal, leaving Botswana with a lion's share of the tourism market. Italy Italian culture is firmly based in hospitality, and even if you visit alone, it won't take long before you're eating with company. Italians don't like to see anyone dine solo, so expect to be welcomed into the fold, or at the very least, exchange pleasantries with strangers passing by, in between mouthfuls. Forget eat, pray, love. Italy is more like greet, pray, love. Vermont. When snow lust kicks in, there are no friends on a powder day. 
a creed that all skiers and snowboarders all understand when carving down the slopes unconcerned with sticking to your own lane or speed limit. In many ways, snow sports can best be enjoyed alone. So, if you are looking for a good place to hit the slopes as a solo traveler, Vermont has a great reputation as a warm embrace to outsiders. Solo skiing is a great option if you want to head down the slopes unabandoned. But on the chairlift up, it opens you up to meet locals and quiz them for some local knowledge. And thankfully, the Vermont locals are known to be accommodating in sharing the best backward powder. They will quite happily share their tips and even let you tag along. A great spot for solo travelers to stay is the Wilmington Inn. The inn is a favorite with locals, especially on a Wednesday when a pop-up restaurant features nomad chefs. Chiang Mai, Thailand Chiang Mai is known as the Rose of the North and by any other name would smell just as sweet. This city, on the foothills of northern Thailand, is a lush countryside area surrounded by a mountainous area. It is far greener and cleaner than Bangkok and known for its safety for solo travelers and women travelers. The city has a large expatriate population, a testament to its warm welcome and acceptance of outsiders. It is a cosmopolitan city, but still grounded in the Buddhist faith, prevalent in Thailand. Chiang Mai has over 300 Buddhist temples to visit and plenty of yoga practices to join. The food culture in the city is astounding, from friendly vegan restaurants to interesting hole-in-the-wall takeout to street food vendors and plenty of night food truck markets. Ireland Solo travel need not be lonely, especially when you're in one of the friendliest countries in the world, Ireland. Sure, the pubs on Dublin's O'Connell Street will have you cheersing with the cheerful locals, but the real Irish experience is when you hit the county communities. Unlike other European countries, for English speakers, Ireland offers first language engagement, making the barriers for banter that much lower. Some of the friendliest communities off the beaten track can be found on Ines Moor, the largest of the Aran Islands off the western coast of Ireland. Forget Uber, here you hire a horse and carriage to get around. And this is also the best way to get the inside scoop on current news and happenings on the island. Country Cork is home to a humble seaside community, who even have a friendly dolphin that will greet you. Be sure to visit the oldest pub in Cork, the Mutton Lane Inn, and share a pint and some stories with the locals. You can be sure the whole area is safe to walk home alone after dark, as the community look out for each other and their guests. British Virgin Islands Don't leave the Caribbean just to honeymooners to enjoy. Solo travelers are enjoying the island paradise just as much. The British Virgin Islands is a welcoming place, with warm West Indies hospitality always on hand. Whether you join the merry throngs by day on the well-known beaches, or head to the streets and enjoy the bustling nightlife, you'll always have warm weather in the Caribbean. The islands have a friendly culture that makes meeting people and making friends easy for solo travelers. Queensland, Australia Only in sunny Australia could volunteer welcomers be a real thing. This service in the friendly city of Brisbane welcomes solo travelers with more than a smile. This completely free service matches you with a local to show you around all the best sights in the city. The Brisbane greeters are up to speed with all the usual tourist attractions like the Queensland Art Gallery, QUT Art Museum and Goma Gallery of Modern Art. Then they can join you to track down the best beer in town or head to Bundaberg for a local food or rum tour. And don't miss out on the magnificent snorkeling at Port Douglas. No need to be lonely when visiting Queensland. The Brisbane greeters will make sure of it. Spain If the draw card of endless paella isn't enough to sway you towards visiting Spain, then perhaps its friendly and safe culture for female and solo travelers will. Spain has a long track record of protecting women's rights, making it a popular destination for solo women travelers. And if you're still not convinced the Spanish looks after ladies, Madrid is the first city to officially ban manspreading on public transport. Maui Maui is made for solo travelers. The lineup of activities alone will keep you occupied from morning until night, with mountain biking, surfing, zip lining, and snorkeling tours. Then head to the hippie town of Paya for a fix of love and peace and all things organically farmed. The locals of Maui will show you the aloha spirit that makes the island a perfect option for safe solo travel. Where is the best place that you have been as a solo traveler? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. 1. Oslo, Norway 
New York might be the city that never sleeps because there is always a vibe, but Oslo is the city that never sleeps for an altogether different reason. The virtually crime-free city in Norway enjoys round-the-clock sun in the summer when you will experience an all-night sunny street life. The summer is when the city comes alive with festivals and music in the streaming sunlight. The city is set up to be easy to navigate, even for first-time travelers, and it offers plenty to see and do, from architecture and outdoor activities to art and food culture. So stop in on your solo travels, and you can rest easy that you'll be safe.